Board game design is hard. Like, I mean, real hard. Uh, game design is constant failure. It has been an obsession. I, I wish I could get rid of it. You know, at, at times I've been like, this is it. You know, I'm sick of this. It's too hard. There's no future in it. Struggling to find the core of the game right now is what I'm doing. Is struggling to find the core. There's always that scare playing it for the very first time. Like, oh my God, this is going to be awful. You just got to get over that hurdle and get it on the table. Honestly, if I can't make a game right out of the gate that the average person thinks is fun, that's going to be very discouraging. Alright, so that's, there's plenty that's bad about this game. I see board games just like stories. You've got the structure of a job, and, and leaving that behind is, is a little bit disorienting at first. Every time I play a game as a kid, I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is really fun. You know, I like this and this. But it wasn't exactly the game that I wanted to play. My goal this year is to bring all the games that I've polished and pitch them to publishers. One of the big challenges is getting the word about the game out to a wider audience. I have no illusions, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of luck to get another another game as, as successful as, as Pandemic has been. The game as I envisioned it, and the game that's gonna be produced at the end, are not the same game. It's not about the game at the end, it's about you put people together and it's a very strong reward to do that, I think.